All right, so we're gonna be using a um, butterball turkey bacon. I like just like this turkey bacon just because it's about a almost a pound. A pound is about 16 ounces, so I get almost about a pound for like 2.49. Uh, these are Cali prices too. I'm out here in Cali. Yeah, so pretty much we just got this one. I mean, I know it's not the best stuff. It's got preservatives and whatnot, what not. But um, I like to do a lot of stuff with this bacon either way. Like, so I already did the cheesy bacon we did. So I usually just use this cheese right here. I don't know if I like the Cobra Jack. There's this other cheese I like, like some of the Spanish cheese or pizza cheese or mozzarella was real good. Not a huge, huge fan of the Kobe, but it's still good. I just call it the, the Kobe. I call it Kobe Jack. Kobe Jackson. I'm honest. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just start dicing it right. So we're going to cut it all the way across. And we're going to be doing um eggs with uh, this kind of diced up bacon and the cheese I'm feeling like today. You know, done it in slices here. I haven't cut all the way completely through because it just starts to do this kind of thing. So I just kind of cut into it without hitting too many of the edges. And it picks up with this knife because maybe not too sharp. So now I'm going to go in and try to hit it uh, vertically. Or no horizontally i mean sort of like the this is kind of like the technique i used i kind of just um came at it like this from the top here and i would just hit it here and kind of like that and um i mean i guess you could turn the board around and, and hit it like that but um you know this works fine too just cut up the edges or whatever that everything just cut off all those and if you want them smaller you know come smaller but this would be small enough. so if you did it kind of the way i did it you'll have a bunch of pieces like this and you just have to go in and uh, separate these or whatever. Oh, sorry. This is what I meant. So just, you'll have a piece like this, and you'll just have to separate these. Like, But yeah, for the most part, you shouldn't have too many of those. And then um, I'm just going to do this on, I like to cook on low heat. <clears throat> but, you know, you could always put it up a little higher. So I usually just set it on there. You know, I'll, I'll take it, take it lower while it's on there. And right there is fine, kind of medium, medium low. Not too low. <clears throat> I'll go in and I uh, cut these up, and um, I just you have these tongs, but you can use just anything um, to stir it. You know, I just wouldn't use anything metal on here. You know, like wood is good, or this um, this uh, polyester stuff. <laughs> yeah, this rubber tire thing is good too. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, I will do the bacon first. Wait for that to be kind of cooked. We'll add our eggs. I got these eggs right here. Um, this is uh, 60 eggs, so it's about five dozen. I think it was uh, about six dollars, seven dollars. Um, and then this one, I think this was like six bucks. I don't know. It's about two pounds of cheese though, so it's like three dollars a pound. It's not too crazy. If you're wondering what type of eggs these were. If you're still wondering what type of eggs these were, these are the I completely tore that up. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this aligned. Who's that? I think it's a Norco Ranch right here. So we just got the Norco Ranch ones. Um so by May 21st. So you know you could see today is what the 16th? Alexa, what day is it today? 14th. 15th, yeah. So, you know, you're, you're gonna have to eat these really quick if you want to eat them real good. So, if that's the sell by. <clears throat> All my stuff is um, pretty close to um, going out though. I mean, the cheese is fine, so that's just July. The, the bacon though was gonna expire on the 20th. So, that's kind of how I get these better deals. Um, you know, a pound of bacon for two and a half bucks. Um, if you're super, in, I mean, it's also turkey bacon too, which is usually people think is more expensive than it is. But um, I just prefer the turkey. So I'm getting a Snapchat call. I don't know if you can hear me, so I might as well just take it. Yo, my bad. That call ended up being a little bit um freaking long. But I'll call her back. I'll call them back. But um, so yeah, where were we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already threw in the eggs, by the way. So I just threw them in. Um, flames a little bit, but medium low. Um. And then, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna keep it like that. I like to take my eggs off and back on. I like to take them off and back on. That's why that thing is like kind of crazy. So, um, I just, uh, because eggs cook real easy just on their own from the own heat. So you don't want to overcook these things. You want to take them off, take them off because they'll cook themselves realistically. Um, so here we go with these, right? So this is like for you 
um, seven dollar uh, carton people. Yeah, this is real expensive, but I get this for my mom so that way she can cook them on the uh, boiled. So hard boiled eggs for my mom. I get these um, because she likes to have the yolk. Still, she likes to have the yolk kind of melted. So um, you know, as you can see, this is just for her. So I get that for her just so she can be like. You know, that's a lot too, but, um, yeah, it's about $7 for this one too, and it's pretty hard to find, so I wanted to show you all this. Get this at the, um, at the, you know, the health food stores. So yeah, I'm not, I'm gonna put cheese on this anyway, so I don't, I'm not super keen on keeping all this yolk and, and everything, like, I'm not super keen on all this, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have scrambled, but, um, but you know what, it's good to have yolk every once in a while, so I'm actually gonna have to switch utensils here, I'm gonna switch, um, how do we call these uh maybe i can uh i can show you guys how i flip this because I, I, I can flip these so what you want to do if you do flip these is you could you have to remove the sides here these sides are what sticks it down and then you could even get down in there a little bit more and what you want to do from here is kind of see just how much it will slide so usually this will give you have to make sure this will all give so you're making sure it'll give Make sure it'll give. And then flip what you can and flip what you get. It doesn't always end up nice when it looks like this. You can see, it's ready to give there. And then what you want to do is see how it'll do that. So I'm going to attempt this. I'll just go this and you'll do it over the same. So, I mean, it's a little bit messy. I'm really good at flipping usually, but this is, you know, I started off with the bad canvas. I didn't have the attention of flipping it when I was adding the eggs. If I known I was going to flip it, I would have added uh, maybe more eggs in the middle and then maybe like a couple on the sides just so it keeps it all together because when you have all the eggs on the side, it does end up like this. You want them all really in the middle and maybe just a few on the sides just so it all kind of comes up here because the, the sides are always going to be the part that usually gets damaged or or um, not set correctly, meaning, meaning omelet looking here, which is fine. You can omelet cook it, um, but um, you won't get a nice layer like the rest of this but this is how you'll essentially do the omelet too you'll just instead of flipping it you're going to pick up half and then just flip that over and then try to bring it to the middle of the flame saying i like to um have the eggs cook themselves especially you know like so i'll, I'll just have this uh, put it on and off and i'll leave it for about 30 seconds off put it back on for about 20 seconds and you know especially because i don't want to burn these eggs so this is probably a good time to add some of your cheeses too if you like um, your yolk like really like this and you like that, but we're gonna just cook it a little bit more because they're not these super nice eggs. They're these um, seven for 60 and not seven for 12. Um, so yeah, this is, um, it's not bad, a good way to check. Yeah, see, these are pretty cooked decently. Um, you can check from in here. Yeah, see, pretty cooked. So I'll just add some cheese, put a little bit of flame back on. Um, you wanna be careful with the, this Kobe one, but you know, you could always add a lot. This is already too much. I just did that for just a demonstration. So then I'll just even out some here because I had cheesy bacon. I do like cheese though. As you can see, I got carried away. Um, so I usually even add more, but I feel bad doing that on screen. I don't want no one knowing how much cheese I add. So that'll be fine. <laughs> you know how crazy I am with it. And uh, yeah, and again, like I said, just take that off. You can even you know, make sure your sides are good. Again, all like that. That's how you really want to do the side thing technique. Just like that. See how to you give again. Kind of. It needs more in here, and I'll let you give again. Though. You can always move it around too, like that. Move it around the pan. Center it. That should be fine. I'll take it off the heat. See the cheese melting on its own now. So I'll take it off the heat and then I'll put it back on. And then, you know, just see what it does in the next few minutes. But this should all be really too good to melt soon. This is already pretty much melted now.